Ang dami talaga mga GPU models ngayon, so it's really hard deciding what's best for your rig and what's good for your needs. Kaya hulog talaga na langit yung latest AMD series of GPUs. The Radeon RX 9000 series is widely regarded as very good value for money, especially for 1080p to 1440p gaming. Yes, I know what you're thinking. AMD did sponsor this video, but it worked out. Kasi sakto, I've been meaning to do a video on AMD's latest GPU line. Since marami reviewers nga nagsasabi, okay siya. One key feature of this Radeon RX 9060 XT is that it comes with 16GB of VRAM. Lahat ng tao ngayon obsessed sa VRAM capacity. As the more complicated graphics gets in games, the larger the size of the data the GPU needs to process. And this is greatly facilitated the more VRAM you have. Too long, nakatulog ka, more VRAM, very good. So if you're looking to future-proof your rig, you definitely want as much VRAM as possible, and the 9060 XT is the best bang for your buck in that regard. Based on our price watch data, we pull CPU and GPU prices in the Philippines once a month, and we've been doing that for the past three years. The average price of a 9060 XT, 16 gigabytes, is around 25,000 pesos. Compare that to a 16GB VRAM GPU from the competitor, Team Green, which comes in at around 30,000 or more. Layo! Bang for your buck talaga yung 9060 XT, 16GB. Speaking of the competitor, let's be honest, AMD is seen before as lagging behind in terms of things like resolution upscaling and frame generation. The Radeon RX 9000 series GPUs though are based on the latest RDNA 4 architecture so this card is the product of four generations of advancement with improvements in everything from AI cores to ray tracing. Hindi ko naman masabi na AMD has pulled ahead but it has certainly caught up. You can see that in AMD's frame generation with Fluid Motion Frame 2.1. Yung kagandahan ng frame generation, there's a noticeable increase in the number of frames you're seeing and you don't need to have a very expensive card to see the difference because most of the work in frame gen is done by AI. More frames without additional strain on the GPU. Upscaling also results in better graphics without the need of a very expensive card. Say the card is running at 1080p resolution, it's doing the work of generating a 1080p, then with AMD's latest Super Resolution 4, the gamer is actually playing at 1440p. Yung rendering effort ng GPU pang 1080p, so mabilis. Hindi mo kailangan ng sobrang mahal na GPU. Pero yung nakikita ng gamer, 1440p resolution, thanks to Super Resolution 4. Let's have some actual numbers to back up what I've been saying. All of these results were achieved with the Asus Prime Radeon RX 9060 XT, 16GB. In Valorant at 1080p max settings, we got an average of 601 frames per second, which jumped to 651 FPS when we turned on Fluid Motion Frames, AMD's frame gen feature. That's an almost 10% increase in frames without any performance hit. In Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p with ray tracing at ultra and FSR off, we got a decent 67.5 frames per second, which almost doubled to 117 FPS when we turned on FSR 4. Still in Cyberpunk at 1440p, ray tracing at ultra and FSR off, we got 47 FPS, which is playable but not great. But with the flick of a software tab, we enabled FSR 4 and got an almost 100% increase in frame rate at 90 FPS. Wild gains also in Monster Hunter Wilds at 1080p, ray tracing at high, no FSR, no frame gen, we were getting a decent 77 FPS. Ray tracing still at high, FSR on, frame gen off, we got a nice bump to 94 FPS. And then finally, with ray tracing still on high, FSR on, frame gen on, we got a whopping 166 FPS, which is more than double the 77 FPS we were getting when we didn't enable FSR and frame gen. Same story at 1440p, ray tracing on high, FSR off, frame gen off, we were getting 54 FPS. Then with ray tracing still on high, FSR on, frame gen off, 69 FPS. Finally, when we turned on both FSR and frame gen, we got 155 FPS. Around triple the FPS from when we had both FSR and frame gen off. 
Frame gen and resolution upscaling are not unique to AMD, but it's clear that in the latest implementation, they can hold their own against the competition. All while having a clearly lower price point than Team Green. The 9060 XT 16GB is really bang for your buck. A lot of brands have their own versions, but I do like the Prime card, in particular from ASUS. Una, it's a 2.5 slot design, so it can fit in most builds, even small form factor, SFF, or ITX rigs. Space is a premium in those types of builds, and believe me, for a computer shop, we get a lot of customers asking for ITX. It can be a challenge sometimes finding cards beefy enough for high-end systems, but small enough to fit into ITX. That's not a problem with the ASUS Prime Radeon RX 9060 XT. ASUS has also applied its GPU guard to the card, so there's adhesive in all the corners to protect the card against cracks. The card also has three fans, which surprised me. Usually in this price range, usually mga dual fans, yun yung more common configuration. Three fans is great. You want your GPU as cool as possible to enable the best performance and also increase its lifespan. And these three Axial Tech fans ASUS has on the Prime look like they will deliver. You want the fans doing their job, but for some gamers, not me, I don't care, but I know some of you are out there, they get bothered by fan noise. This is not a problem with the Prime, as it has a dual boot where the user can toggle between performance, the fans are aggressive, or quiet where the fans are more relaxed at lower temperatures. It's the same idea as the fan switches on a PSU. And speaking of PSUs, AMD's RDNA 4 architecture is more efficient than previous generations, so the 9000 series is not a power hog. Even paired with a high-end CPU, 750 watts is more than enough for these GPUs, and a good pairing would be the ASUS Prime AP750G. 80 plus gold siya, ATX 3.1, a whopping 8 years warranty. The Prime AP750G has all of the specs you want in a modern system with a 9000 series GPU. Plus, aesthetically, it does look very sharp. It's not often I can say that about PSUs. It's one of the rare PSUs which would go well in either a white or black PC rig. Competition is great for the customer, and it's awesome to see these new AMD GPUs as viable gaming options, and they're excellent value for money as well. And don't forget, you can win up to 1,000 pesos worth of GCash if you review your ASUS product. Hanggang end of the year pa to, so you have enough time to buy a product and review it. Thanks for watching.